Okay, okay, there we go. Hey, people of the century, Andrew plays one here, and we're back. Now, BTS. It means behind the scenes. And we're going to take a look at the behind the scenes of Paul the Lego. But basically, this is going to be as a sum up of the editing process I do with this stuff. And how much time I waste on these stuff. Well, I don't waste it. I mean, like, it's not a complete waste. Or, I don't know. So, as you can see, the first thing you might notice is the logo. Um, it's an app called Logo Sculptic. It's on the App Store. And it's awesome. This is where I, this is how I design my logo. And as you can see, the zooms and stuff. Well, uh, I had to, like, zoom this up to position to start and for the end. Boom. So there we go, we got that covered. Not a text. It's on titles. Basically what you could do is choose something like this. For example, gravity. It's kind of cool, right? Well, I chose reveal because it felt like a more revealing title stuff. Revealing like a new, a new film stuff. So you know. Oh, you're wondering about this. Well, basically, I recorded something from the camera. It's right here. And basically, what I did is I put the text in front of it. So, you know. And I did the standard text because, you know, it, I, I feel like it wouldn't really look good with reveal and stuff. So, you know. Uh, the music. It is from my piano, which I have right here, right now. Yeah, it's, it's very loud, but don't worry, the audio ears are like, you know. Also, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, go see Paul the Lego. I should have said that at the beginning of the video, but whatever. Okay, what do we got here next? Oh, I slowed this down to make it... A more dramatic effect, like more dramatic and stuff. Wondering about the lift flaps? Well, that'll be later. Um, and let's explain this. So I actually had to use my piano for this because, okay, listen to the audio here. Not really loud, right? But when you hear it in the film, it's like real, real, real. It's the real stuff. It's like really loud like when you hear an explosion in real life okay so basically that's that's what the sound is and oh my god spoilers and the credits out introduced later um i think i i don't know where the credits are right now i don't know uh okay so we covered that part now let's go to yuck it Yeah, whatever. Oh, I have to. Hold on, I'll set this up. Okay, so we're back. With the correct format this time. Now, yuck it. What you could basically do is take a scene, you know, like take a photo and make a talk. Now, I tried to do this for Mr. Fantastic Bear, but it just didn't look good. Yeah. All right. And the eyes here, I basically used it. For, see, to look at all these eyes right here. They they look good, right? All right. And the face, I mainly use this face. You know, for all stuffs. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, yeah, the voice, um, uh, let's create a scene. Hey, people of the center room, and you place one here. Hey, ah, uh, you can't really hear it. Hold on. Yeah, you can't really hear it. Wait, what? <laughs> so yeah, 
basically what I did with the, uh, hold on. My name is Paul the Lego. Hold on. So you could kind of hear it, you know. So basically I just used a pitch down for the voice because, you know, I'd be like, that's what, how I imagine he sounds like. Yep. And, yes, I said spoiler alert, but again, spoiler alert. Now, uh, this is the <laughs> this is the villain right here. Well, he's not really the villain. What? Okay, he's the villain of the prequel. Because the thing is... Well, he was intended to make a joke in this one, but... Whenever the other prequel will come out, it will have this guy as an actual villain. Not like just some joke. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the explosion. I had to use a background made out of pit collage and we'll get to that. And the mouth is basically upside down because, alright, it'll look weird like this. I mean like, he's not supposed to smile. But it's okay. Alright, do we have anything else? No. Um, here's my Mecha Spinosaurus, which, uh, yeah, it's kind of a little bit off, but he'll get introduced later, too. Uh, I believe that's all for Yakit. Congratulations. Now, let's just go to Pit Collage. Alright, so here we go. Ah! No! No, 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 no. I do not want notifications. That'll be bad. So this is where I make my logos and stuff, and basically what I do for fun. Now, you're wondering, what is this? This is my Lego plane from one year ago and now, so yeah, blah, blah, blah. And this is my logo for all the years and stuff. Me in 2014, this is Sky Wars. Do this for fun. Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, I had to use Yakit and I, yeah, for this scene and pick collage and the cropping. I, wow, I could have just zoomed in. I didn't even know you could zoom in. So what's a better way to crop it? Oh my God, I didn't even know you could zoom in. I'm dumb. I mean, look at that. It looks more, much more better. But still... Uh, okay, never mind. So this is the official logo. Now, what I basically did is... I basically drew the focus on Paul right here. And it looks really, really cool. And the effects... I don't think I really used any effects. I don't know what would look cool. I guess... This, maybe? Okay, no, 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 no. This looks horrible. How do I set it back? Okay, screw that. Oh, oh crap, I just ruined it. Goodbye. But basically, this is the same as, as it was in the trailer. You know, the logo stuff. And I just... Hold on, let's make the background green for the future. Because it has to be green for the next prequel stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm working. I am working on this. It's now confirmed. Now I'm working on it. Okay. So I believe that's it. If not... If I missed anything, then I'll go back. No, no I, I covered everything. Pfft. Ha ha. So bye, people of Century, and I'll see you on the next video.